One Toronto man is putting his legendary 50-year-old mustache on the line for Movember. Albert Storchak is looking to raise $10,000 for the Movember movement by December 2nd. And if he doesn't reach his goal in time, he will shave off his timeless mustache. And Albert Storchak joins us live, of course, with his glorious mustache <laughs> and bowl, um, on top of his upper lip there, which looks fantastic. Albert, appreciate you joining us this morning to talk about this. It's kind of the reverse Movember is really what you're trying to save your staff. Your epic stash. It is. Say. Happy November, by the yes, way. Yes, indeed. Mm. Yeah. yeah, we wanted to send a more positive message. I mean, uh, men will, will grow to shave, mm -hmm. and we thought, why not turn that on its head mm. and uh, something a little more positive? We'll save something that's been around for 50 years yeah. and uh, we've we've aged together <laughs> exactly yes. yeah so Albert this is very special I mean you've you've had this mustache for 50 years that's older than me um, <laughs> your mustache is older than me yeah. it's older yeah. than most people that's yeah. a long time yeah. and in your goal is to raise ten thousand dollars and you won't know the result no, until December no. the 2nd we'll have a reveal on December the 2nd mm -hmm. and um, what whatever happens will will happen and I'm I'm not upset about it. I mean, if I do lose it, I'm not upset mm -hmm. because uh, it's all for a good cause and I can start over again. Right. Yes. And, and I think there, that's the key to it because even if we don't raise $10,000, whatever we do raise or even the next contribution could be the one that provides a man with, with the opportunity to start over. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, like I can. That is such a great point, Albert. Yeah. I love the way you've yeah. put that. And, and you know, you talk about this. You haven't seen yourself without a mustache in more than 50 years. <laughs> you know, we have those pictures of you cutting your beard some 50 years ago, back in the 1970s. 1973. 1973. Wow, okay, look at that. which is okay. pretty amazing there. So, did you ever have you ever considered shaving your mustache before, or has it just become such a signature part? No, of you? you know, there there's been hair mm -hmm. on the top of my head and and the beard. What always remained was the mustache, and there was never any consideration. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Albert, um, maybe you can talk about why you are, you know, risking it all for Movember. Why is Movember so important to you? Well, I, I was watching Sunday football. I saw a commercial which for Movember, which clearly resonated with me because I started thinking and counting all the men that I know who who have been diagnosed with prostate cancer. And um, it was a wow me moment. Mm. And I went online, I read a little bit about the uh, Movember campaign, and I came away impressed with, they have this dual mandate of, of, of not only promoting men's physical health, but men's mental health as mm. well in the suicide prevention. Mm -hmm. And that, that for me is very important it may be even more important than the physical part. No doubt about that, Albert. And so on December the 2nd, you will find out, because again, as just to highlight, you don't know where this fundraiser is at at this point. And while you don't know that, you must know the kind of interest or support that's been generated. Like, you have a sense, do you have a feeling? Like, how would you describe that? I do, because I, I mean, I'm part of the, the, the Broadview Danforth yeah. community, mm -hmm. and it is a community. And, and, and people, um, people come up to me and they say, what a great organization Movember is. And what the BIA is doing is 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 amazing. Wish you luck. I had a woman this morning <laughs> uh, meet me at the front door and say, "You're not really going to shave it off, are you?" And and um, you know, so it's it, it's been a great outpouring. Yeah, amazing. your mustache has been kind of a landmark on your face as much uh, as the CN Tower and Skydome well, is a landmark of Toronto. Yeah. So I'm sure many people don't want to see it go. Uh, so what can people do to help you with your cause and help raise that ten thousand well, dollars? Everybody know somebody out there who's who's mowing their own way please contribute to them mm -hmm. and if you have anything left over come to the Broadview Danforth BI website yeah. Contribute to our effort and help save my stash. <laughs> well, listen, Albert. Who knew you could put a price on a mustache? But you put you pinned yours at ten grand. That's we'll right. find out December second. Like I said, I really hope you can get a camera there. But okay. nice to meet you this morning. Thank good you. luck with yeah. the effort. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, really, 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 really